All right, everybody. Welcome to episode number six, playing Aberration. And today, I've been doing a bunch of stuff. My main focus has been getting prepared to build more on that. I've been experimenting a little bit with the building, and I got some stuff to show you, which I'll probably save for next episode. But first, I was trying to get together a whole set of utility dinos in order to help me get all the materials I'm going to need. So today I got a Stego and I got a Dodicarus and uh, what else did I get? I'm, I've got an Anki egg to, to, uh, to hatch and, and raise. Although I got to get some metal for that because I have to get a air conditioner. But for wood, the main guy on the map is this guy who's hiding. He doesn't want to be in the video. <laughs> you saw me previously using this guy. But there has been a patch since where wood has 20% of its weight on them now. So they do now have a weight reduction for wood. So they are the beaver of sorts for aberration. So I need one. And I actually started looking for one of these guys. And all the levels I found were very poopy. Sixes and twelves, twenty-fours. I found great Stego and great Doty, And it's going to be a great Anki. But this guy here, finally, at the end, back at home, <laughs> after roaming all over the map, I found a 156 wild female roll rat. And she's even got kind of a nice brown. They've all got the baggy skin and the face that only a monkey puzzle could love. And I will love her dearly because she's going to serve us well. And they're really cool, too. we got to put the saddle on it and show you all the things it does. So... It's, see, it already wants to be with me. It's hanging out with my dogs here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So they are a passive tame and they use honey. So I've got some honey on here. And apparently the thing I need to do is you cannot go up to them and just give them the honey. You have to wait till they dig a hole. And then when they, they're in the hole, you, you stand over it and you press the hot key with the honey. I think it has to be the zero slot. But it needs to burrow first. And I haven't done it, but I saw a Raleigh do it. And so this is going to be very similar to what he did, because that's how you do it. <laughs> but I am so psyched to find this one. Okay, here it goes. All right, so right over the hole, and we press zero. Ho! Oh! And did it work? No, it didn't work. I think I just ate the honey. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so <laughs> let's do it again. And we'll figure out what we got to do here. This honey has a really quick spoil time, so that's the trick here. These guys want to keep near me, but I have them on passive at the moment. Because I don't want them attacking it if this goes awry and this thing attacks me. Let me double check. Did I do have them on passive? No, I don't. Oof. Okay. Now you're all on passive. No killing my roll rat. My roll mole. <laughs> mole rat, roll rat. But I think they're more of a mole. And they do roll. So roly moly. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, you gonna go down? You gonna burrow? Let's do this. So I gotta figure out what I need to do. Do I need to look down? Press that. I saw, I saw, I saw it now. Hey, it's taming. That was it. So I guess I just didn't look down enough. I saw a big splash of honey when that happened. It looks like it's going to take four times with that. I'm leaving the honey on here as I go because it'll last a little bit longer on the Ravager than it will on me. Okay. So let's do this again. It's cool. I like the passive tames. They make more sense to me. I mean, I don't know why, like, knocking something out and shooting it would make it love you and be obedient forever. But honey, get more tames with honey. So I'll do another one of these. Let's see if we can do the whole tame together. I think this will mainly be the focus for this video. Okay, look down, press that. Oh, we got a honey splash. Yeah, wow. <laughs> That's pretty crazy when it comes back up. 56.8. And our taming effectiveness it's a hundred percent still. So let's see if we can keep that up. I want a very high level roly moly. So let's do this high. 
You want to chomp on wood for me forever? <laughs> They're supposed to be pretty good for berries, too. And I don't know. They may have other abilities. People are still discovering abilities of a lot of these aberration creatures. So the pause sometimes means they're going down and sometimes it means they're changing direction. So this is a pretty intricately modeled creature, even if it is intricately uh, uh, beautiful. <laughs> we're not going to use the U word because we're trying to tame it. We're trying to sweeten it with honey. So we've got to use sweet words too. Hey, we got it. All right. So one more. That's not that bad. Okay, so... Just don't want to miss a beat here. I don't know what it takes for the taming effectiveness to go down. Let's make sure we're not going to be ambushed by any other Ravagers or anything bad. I did do a circuit around here and make sure it's clear first. These guys cover some territory. I originally saw it right over there, all the way where my raft is by... Uh, between BLP and O'Reilly's. Like I said, after I went to places on the map I hadn't even seen before where I got kind of lost and it's not where this was. <laughs> it was right here. Of course, it wasn't here before either. And I did do the evil thing and kill all the low level ones. Hey, what happened? Why did it go down? What the heck? Did I take too long? Ah. See, it was almost perfect. So now we're going to have 83.3%. But whatever. I'll do it. I don't know how long it would take for it to go down. And I'll just keep my eye out for other high level ones. I mean, this one is 156. And we go all the way up to 180 here. So it is not the highest level possible. But it'll still be a pretty decent start. I'm not sure what happened differently there. I guess when I edit, I'll see it. Did I take too long? Was I talking too much and not paying attention? Okay, as soon as it goes down, we press that. Hey, we got it. Woohoo! All right, so I assume we got the 83% in the end. And not sure what this one is called. If you want to give me a name for it, um, well, right now we're going to call it uh, Holy Moly. <laughs> Uh, Rolly should be in there too, but that's too obvious. It's already got roll in it. So holy moly, you're the first roll rat for us. There you are. And what can you do for us? So the saddle for this is really expensive. So we have to, I need to get some metal going to do that. I don't have that metal at all because I don't have my own Anki yet, but I did borrow the iron mine Anki. And right here, all I've got is a river rock to harvest. So it takes a while. There are some metal nodes up there. I don't have an Anki up there, so I have to go up there with a pick. Anyway, I'm going to get it together. I'll show you how much the saddle costs, and then we will go ahead and put it on, and we'll have our own holy moly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in a second. I just wanted to show you today's haul of utility dinos today. Uh, I'm going to crank them up there so they're safe, because we still have to build the pen down here. But Cryo scouted out this 168 Doty and got that tamed up. Then I saw this one, which was a 174 Doty. God, I can't see them with that thing in their face. So <laughs> we've got to take that off. Which is really, really pretty. So I like that. It looks really nice at night. And then you saw the Roly Moly. And then we got this Stego, who was a... What were you? You were like a 150 something. A 150. So, yeah, we got thatch and berries, we got wood, we got stone, and now we're just lacking metal. So I got to get up to the uh, platform up there. I've got an Anki egg, but I'll show you what's up with that. Just getting my crew back up here. Sometimes it works smoothly, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. Still hit or miss with these guys. Yeah, we lost one down there, so I have to go get it. But just want to show you on uh, Charybdis here, I've got a fertilized Anki egg. So let's go ahead and drop it. And basically anywhere on this platform is too hot. Nothing here is burning at the moment. So the climate is just too hot. So to do this, 
I'm actually going to have to make an air conditioner, which requires a whole technological upgrade here. I've got to make a uh, generator and a fabricator and an air conditioner, uh, which is cool. We'll get we'll need those things anyway. Um, but to do that, I need metal. <laughs> so I'm having to borrow another Anki and do some metal runs, both with the Anki and with my pick uh, with the metal nodes. Anyway, I already told you that part before, but I just wanted to show you that. And that will complete the whole suite of utility dinos. And lest I forget, I better bring these guys up to safety. All right, so I'll see you when I get somewhere with all that. So today, yeah. The roll rat is the star, but it's just about getting all these guys together so that I can really, like, be enabled for building and have all the materials we need easily. And this moving past the whole era of hand harvesting, which I've mostly got past, but not completely. As painful as this thing is to use, it does get you, give you the feeling of using a real mechanism, which I really appreciate. And here they come. Ooh, big old nose. And it's always a great feeling when you get them all up. Hi, right, guys. We got work to do. All right, so I achieved some of those goals. I now have an air conditioner that's linked up to a generator and a fabricator. And that allowed me to breed that. an Anki up. Well, I bred two because uh, I was hoping to get a male and a female so I could breed some more for other folks. Uh, but not quite yet. I got two nice females, so that's going to help me with my metal issues. I did have a big disaster. <laughs> I went out to get polymer for the air conditioner, and I took my pack out to attack a crab, and the crab turned out to be a really high level, and he kicked our butts. He killed me. He picked me up with his claw and picked me up off of my mount and uh, managed to kill one of my pack of four that went out, but the other two are mysteriously missing. So I couldn't find them anywhere. I have heard that crabs can push tames under the mesh. I don't know if that happened or not. I couldn't see anything. Um, but I went on, while I was looking for them, I found a 174 Ravager. So I went ahead and tamed him up and now I've got very high level male and female. And so I got my first baby Ravager. So this one's gonna be bred up. And I did start the nanny. Um, so they are getting imprinted that way, and I've got honey right there, although it's kind of a disaster every time I do it. Um, but anyway, let's get back to the roll rat. So let's go ahead. I went ahead and got everything I need. I did borrow an Anki and get enough metal to make this. So let's go ahead and make that up, and then we'll go ahead and try it, because uh, I need some berries now anyway. So there it is. It's very expensive. It's, uh, let me see, 85 cementing paste, 150 fiber, 45 green gems, 270 hide. And the big one is the 425 metal ingots. So that there was a bit of a setback, but I think I'm good. Let's go ahead and take him out. I did have some losses here too. They, I've got things hitched up, but uh, things keep falling down. I did test that they can defend themselves here, but... Apparently not, and I lost a Stego, and I actually lost a Ravager over here too, so I need a roof real quick. Next episode's going to be a building episode for sure, because <laughs> uh, I've got a lot of things to take care of here, so I don't have more disasters, but look at that. Let's turn uh, this off so we can see what's going on. That is like the coolest saddle ever. That's some kind of like uh, Buck Rogers 21st century kind of thing there. It's pretty cool. So let me take it out. And we will see what it can do. So I'm going to unhitch it. And I should probably take some Ravagers with me. Because there's always dangerous stuff. So let me get the them down. And then... Uh, ooh, look at me. <laughs> These things have a really bad turning radius too. Let me get downstairs. And we'll see what it can do. Okay, so I got them out here. Got my couple Ravagers with me right now that I can bring out. And uh, let's check this out. So first thing is uh, there's a reason why it's called a roll rat. So <laughs> let's try that out. So let's go over here and I'm going to press R. Woo! Oh, I got to hold it. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, man. And it counts as an attack. I got to look out. I made that guy mad. 
these guys have a terrible turning radius. So let's try that again. That was too cool. All right, let's get out of here before you get in a fight. Oh, my dogs are going to be in a fight, so I better go back. <laughs> oh, but it's so fun. It's like rolling sort of like the Doty, except they did account for the fact that you're rolling with it now, too. So you do have some protection. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of that guy. Cool. And then the main use for these things, I think, is besides rolling around. Oh, and by the way, it does take some durability on the saddle when I rolled around. That's not him. That's him. Um, they've reduced it. It used to be really bad, but you will uh, lose, you will damage your saddle if you roll around a lot. So you got to keep uh, an eye on that. Anyway, oh, and these things can hold passengers too. So I'm not sure exactly how many, but look, there's a bunch of seats up there and they all get protected when you roll. Um, but then they're really good at getting wood. I've showed you that before, but since then they've added weight reduction for the wood so this is 100 wood on it it weighs 10 on me it weighs 50 so it's one fifth 20 percent of its actual weight so now these are going to be really good harvesters that got a whole bunch of berries as well um so that's great so anyway i got to run back with those berries to the anki but yeah there it is there is my first roll rat pretty weird pretty cool <laughs> and pretty useful and then some things that are a little less useful, but really fun. I guess, you know, traveling around really fast is uh, pretty useful. Do it again. Whee! <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, glow bugs. <laughs> All right, let me sh make sure my dogs are with me. Anyway, y'all, I think I'm going to sign out with that. I got some work to do. Got some dogs to gather back up and a little recovery, and I got to work on my place. So that would be probably the next episode. Until then, thank you for watching till the end of this one. Where'd my dogs go? Oh, there they are. They're hiding under the corpse. All right. And uh, let's see. Let's gather up here. Yeah, so thanks for watching until the end of this one. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>